And we've got some breaking news now. A massive magnitude 8 earthquake has hit 160 kilometers off the southern coast of Mexico. It hit southwest of the town of Pijijiapan in the state of Chiapas. A tsunami alert has been issued for several Central American countries, including Guatemala, Honduras and Costa Rica. Tremors were felt as far as the capital, Mexico City, nearly a thousand kilometers away. There were reports of buildings shaking violently and people ran out onto the streets in panic. And in some areas of the capital, electricity went out. And joining me now live from Mexico City is Andalusia No Solov. Andalusia, thank you very much for speaking to us. Can you tell us more about what people in Mexico's capital felt a few moments ago and what's the situation there now? Sure, we're still recovering from it. It was uh, probably the strongest uh, earthquake felt here in Mexico City in 22 years since the earthquake of 1985 that took over 20,000 people's lives and also left over about a million people homeless. So this, uh, people in Mexico City, every time there's a strong earthquake, are especially those who live to the earthquake from 1985, are very, very, very scared. Um, I myself live in the center of the city, which is an area that was uh, that normally you feel the earthquakes more, and you all of a sudden all the buildings started shaking, all the power lines. And normally, uh, in the earthquake that we feel here in the city, when you go outside and you're standing in the street away from buildings and power lines, you don't you stop feeling the earthquake. But here, it just went on for two minutes. Like the streets, almost uh, you could almost see them rolling. I mean, it, not not to that extreme, but that's how you felt. Everyone was feeling nauseous. The power went out in almost the entire city. Uh, city. Um, the power is now back in most of the city, um, but now people are also fearing uh, the aftershock, as there's always uh, an aftershock, but at least that it won't be stronger, people know, so they, they have calmed down somewhat, and most people have now you know, gone back into their houses, gone to sleep, but now there's reports coming in from showing pictures from Chiapas and from Oaxaca, places that really were a lot harder hit, where uh, lots of buildings have collapsed. Here in the city, there haven't been more reports of casualties as of yet. Um, and as far as I know, I haven't heard reports of casualties in other parts of the country, in the southern parts of the country. But seeing the photos, there definitely is a lot of damage. And now people are hearing and, uh, the tsunami. And Ana Lucia, we've just seen a tweet there from uh, the president of Mexico, Enrique Peña Nieto, saying uh, that people will be evacuated from the hardest hit areas. What more do we know about the damage the earthquake may have caused in the southern state of Chiapas, for example? Um, I mean, so far, all that I've seen are buildings uh, that some buildings that have collapsed or roofs have caved in. Um, like I saw pictures from Tapachula from a, a mall where the, the ceiling was coming in. Um, I think the, the, a lot of the evacuations is more related to what could happen with the tsunami. Um, and as I mentioned, this is this earthquake was actually. Um, they first said that it was 8.1, and now are saying that it's either 8.2 or 8.4. So it's actually even a stronger earthquake than the one that happened in 1985. All right, Andalusia No Solov, thank you very much for that update. We will continue monitoring that breaking news of a magnitude 8 earthquake hitting off the southern coast of Mexico.